Look at the beautiful clouds, guys. I am very excited today. You know what? I've been praying yesterday about the to all the farmers. So this week, I'm gonna focus praying to all the farmers because I really feel um, impressed and I feel really encouraged to pray to all the farmers around the world in america in united states california and all the states that have a, a big farm so including myself i am so excited so guys today is saturday um may 4 2020 uh 2024 i am here at the you know this is a big mall so i decided not to get inside the mall because i rather to uh, pray to get pro focus on prayer because i am by myself my family is not here they are at the mall so i said i don't want to go inside the mall because i don't want to see any kind of things you know to get myself into temptation or to buy something so i just do self-control to myself so anyway i'm just gonna pray i'm just gonna pray for you because I received many comments that pray for myself also. You are right. I am very, I feel encouraged that because mostly this is my job. This is my ministry, the ministry of prayer. I'm going to tell you everyone, it's not easy. I've been attacked of the, the devil, of the enemy. But you know what? I'm still here. I'm still happy and content. It doesn't mean contentment that I am stay what I am. I don't want to limit myself because through god god is a limitless okay unlimited blessing from god like prayer prayer only is a free but i need to put i need to sit aside i need to sit aside the time to pray not only for myself and, and not only for my family for my children my husband and i'm gonna pray also to all the people out there the needy that i'm gonna encourage to all of you prayer is not easy to to sit aside the time i know we are so busy but you know we need to sit aside time just like in my daily routine and my daily work um when i'm still in the bed i I pray, I pray quietly, so because when people are still sleeping, I don't want to disturb them, but I have a quiet moment with God, like when I go there to the garden, when I do some watering, when I'm planting, when I have walking, when I'm cultivating the ground, God, in that moment, God is speaking to my heart in my thoughts what I am going to do, what I am going to pray, because this is the job that God given to me, even though this, I don't have any employer and you money in, in a human standpoint but my employer is the lord he is the king of king and the lord of lord and as a mother and as a wife it's not easy to be here in this country but i see many things you know but you know what through prayers i grew a lot thanks be to god because he is faithful faithful and just to forgive all in my equity so through prayer that you cannot pray for something if it is not in your heart and there are so, so many commented also said that you need to pray for everyone yes i pray for everyone guys okay i pray for everyone not only i see prayer for that moment like for example prayer for the philippines when that moment it's in my heart within a short blog for one one minute or a one one minute or six the second is very short to pray everything actually if you sit down diligently um you can pray in the whole day there are so many things to leap up there are so many things to pray but whatever the god put into our heart that's what we're gonna pray okay i am not sitting down to pray lord i'm asking many things but and there's a certain times that the lord speak to me and i talk to him one-on-one -on -one that talk to the lord you know lord this is um i know nothing is impossible to god everything is possible to him and i can do all things through christ he gives me strength and i can pray anything i can ask anything like king solomon king solomon and uh, the lord asked the question to king solomon what do you like um he asked question what Solomon liked, but Solomon asked something that even the things that he didn't ask, God gave to him. Wealth, wisdom, and everything. The part that King Solomon asked that God give, give him a wisdom to manage or to lead the people. 
So, there are so many things in our life, guys. They're my friends, my brothers and sisters in Christ that we can ask to God uh, when we are healthy. Of course, we are not keep continue praying for our health and especially, guys, if um, not only in our in our family but when you go there to the body of christ to your brothers and sisters in christ we can pray for them and i can pray for them it's not only during the sunday we have a fellowship but in the neighboring hood you know what we see in our country in our the leadership of our country we pray for the leaders we pray for we're talking about this blog different kind of prayers that we offer to god prayer of thanksgiving prayer of healing prayer for the lost souls prayer for the intercessor and i do believe that the lord give this to me this kind of blessing and spiritual blessing that i am asking to god now the 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 sun is rising it's kind of hot you know you know here in california when it is summer it's very hot so i've been praying to god na supernatural water supernatural rain from god from heaven that's beautiful cloud i'm gonna show you guys here at the parking lot i am very amazed because you know earlier there's lots of um <clears throat> clouds so the clouds are scattering everywhere and when the clouds um stay in one place and it will be different color of the clouds when the clouds are dark there's lots of clouds lots of rain lots of water it's amazing and it's so wonderful guys we are already here so anyway we're just gonna <laughs> we're already here they're already here so anyway that's what we are praying for the rain so there's a lot of water to pour out to the ground honey can you take a look that you know? can you take a look the clouds the clouds oh, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of rain yeah, you know? and then our cistern has water our cistern has water also. really yeah. <laughs> yeah wow it's a beautiful yeah, good so anyway look at the clouds it's beautiful there's lots of rain you know when elijah's praying about the rain a little clouds is like that it's a beautiful clouds who made the clouds kids God. yes <clears throat> look at that it's a beautiful today so anyway we're gonna pray for more rain for all the farmers the producer around the globe especially in california in united states of america and a different state that they have a big agriculture land so anyway let's continue for our country even sometimes we feel discouraged not to pray but keep in our heart to pray for our country because you know we are here but look at the beautiful clouds you look at the beautiful scenery you got the city this is the city of um what do you call that and this city has lots of tree everywhere right on mm -hmm. The city of California. California is very Northern beautiful. Is more beautiful than Southern California. Yep. We live in Northern California. Yeah, look this at that. This is the most beautiful part of it. <laughs> uh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Northern California is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> You'd be hard for us to find any other state, but you can find it in California. Although there's some beautiful states throughout the United States. But uh, I haven't been to all of them. California you don't have to go you don't have to travel too far to see a variety of many things and so that's why we're grateful that God put us here that's right yep. and pray also for your states you know the governor the Congress and all the representative all the mayors and all the all the community leaders it's very important look at the trees So just enjoy the ride this is beautiful this is the most beautiful here in this um, area lots of trees in this city
think it's 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 good to plant in every sidewalk the fruit bearing trees, oranges, lemons, any kind of fruit bearing trees. When I become when God willing I become a city council or become a congress or governor, I'm gonna plant fruit bearing trees to all the sidewalks and all the sprout parks and all the schools implement pass the good the good laws the bills and do some gardening support the local farm support the local produce so it's it's beautiful so the sustainable for for the neighboring hood why not here in California can grow different kind of tropical fruits like mangoes um, there's many delicious tropical fruits so what is your favorite tropical fruits and Dorian favorite tropical fruit yeah I like I like the mango the mango is very delicious the yellow mango so what else I also like the mangosteen yeah, mangosteen is very Long healthy. Time. Yeah, very healthy. Yes. Especially the especially the shell of the mangosteen is very healthy. You can make a mangosteen tea. You can boil that. It's very good for the stomach. Yep. Rambutan is good. Lansonis is good. They can probably they can grow here in California because California, I said, it's beautiful. When God, when God give us rain every day. It's, we are living in the tropical country. Mm. How about you? How about you, Mia? What is your favorite tropical fruits? Huh? Oh, no. How about you, Gabe? Rambutan, you did not taste other kind of fruits. So, lychee, lychee. So, my favorite is lansunis. My favorite, favorite is guava. And what do you call that? And jackfruit. I think if, if I become a governor, if, yes, I know. If I become governor in this California, I'll make the big, massive, um, um, what do you call that greenhouse and I'm gonna let the people to grow um, propagate the tropical fruits like mango um, lansunis dorian rambutan mangosteen and also the what do you call that the jackfruit jackfruit production is very good so if I become like that you know I think there is many lands and build the um, we can build the what do you call that the greenhouse you know instead wasting money giving away to the other you know somewhere else and the people who pay the taxes and then you know use that money for the community right I like the jackfruit and rice yeah wow jackfruit and rice is so delicious and you know the banana hearts and the yeah. banana hearts and uh, is that what you had last yeah, time? Yeah, banana. Yeah, it's a banana heart. Oh, okay, that's what I like. And also the papaya. The, the one in the, the container that was left over that I ate. Yeah, it, it's a it, banana, banana heart. heart. Banana heart. Okay, that, that's what I was talking about. Banana heart and rice banana with banana. coconut milk. It's so delicious. Yeah, it's very good together. Yeah, it's very good together. Yes. And also the jackfruit. Yes. And also the papaya, right? The papaya, yes. Yep. And avocados. And fruit avocado also. is a fruit too.
who said to Dad, just a, a rough estimate, a rough computation, looking at maybe 1,250 avocado over the last three years. So when you figure out, and also how much money you spent on the avocados, just as a side note, Let's say avocados run about $1.99 each. Let's just say $2. What's well, one penny? I mean, one penny's not going to make a big difference. So let's just say $2 times 1,250 uh, avocados. So 1,250 times $2, that would be. $2,500 over the last three years on avocados alone. Really? And you know that my diet is unique, special, God ordained, God approved, the best. And so out of that diet, one of the ingredients or components of that of dad's diet is avocados consistently every day so we're looking at about twenty five hundred dollars over the last three years what? yeah so we need to plant avocado yes. you know oh yeah we need to plant avocado because yeah. uh, sometimes avocado bear a lot of fruits you know uh -huh. uh, at least two to three months you don't buy avocado you know mm -hmm. and you know you must know how to preserve your mm -hmm. avocado when it is uh, plenty of season you can make ice cream avocado Right? Mm -hmm. Vegan ice cream avocado. Yes. And you can make some frozen that, you, you know, to make your own ice cream. And then you can make some guacamole avocado. You mm -hmm. can froze that, I think. So you can make some avocado sandwiches. You mm -hmm. can make some many kind of avocado. Avocado are very healthy. I didn't realize that avocado is very healthy. So when I talked to my mother, I told him here, I said, do you eat avocado? And she said, no, I don't eat avocado because it's make me high blood pressure. I said, no, actually avocado make you lower your blood pressure because that it is a good fats, right? Omega-3 omega is a good fats. Yep. So avocado is very good and there's lots of fruits. God is amazing how, how He created the fruits, right? Yes. Different season in our life, just like in some some chapter one that like planted in uh, what 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 does it say? Hen? In some third, in some um, chapter one that yeah. there is a verse there that. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the water. Yeah, something like that. that. Bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper amen that's the one i that's the verse for today yeah. it's, it's just like it's us in, you know it's impossible not to prosper you, you know it's a promise from god god can't break his promise and if you do what it says in psalm 1 it's impossible for you not to prosper you will prosper you will be successful because god said you would god's not in the habit of lying he's not a liar god keeps his promises and if he says something he's going to keep it so that's the confidence that we have in following God is that we're not following God just hoping for good things to happen or hoping for a good life or hoping for a good future. We don't have to hope for that. We can be sure of that. We put our hope in God's Word, meaning we put our trust in God's Word. By doing that, we, are calm, we should move forward confidently no matter what we think or see or feel. If we're truly trusting God, if we... And we must answer that question. Are you really trusting God or not? I can't answer that question for you. That's a heart issue. That's a heart matter. Okay, you know whether you're truly trusting God or not. You're the only one who can answer that question. And the only one who really knows that is God. But if you do that, and you do what it says in Psalm 1, your future is as sure as the sun rises in the morning sun sets in the evening. It is surely going to happen exactly the way God said it. Truly. How and how that's manifested, it's going to be different for every person who's doing Psalm 1 because every plan of God is different for every person. But in every life, it's going to be great success. 
and a great legacy and great prosperity because that's the promise of God. So we're going back to what I talked about earlier is keep your heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Keep God's word hid in your heart because that's the only thing that can keep uh, that can keep our heart from moving around and being unstable and wandering is the solid word of God. And what the solid word of God is implanted in our life and it's part of our, and it's hidden in our heart. When our heart starts to want to wander, it's it's held in check by the solid rock, by the word of God which cannot be moved. It cannot change. And so it keeps our heart from changing. Because our heart sometimes can get a little wishy-washy. It can get a little bit... It can start to, you know, get a, wander a little bit. Okay? Because in and of ourselves, we have no, no strength to keep ourselves, you know, in the right way and the right path. But the Word of God can do that. That's why David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. He was right. He learned, he learned something. He knew something. Because you know what? David got, wandered off a few times. His heart did wander a few times. And he learned some lessons there. Okay, so he wrote the book of Psalms. Or he wrote the Psalms. We know that he's writing a lot from experience also. Time in his word. Spend time with God. Spend time in his word. And Edify yourself, build yourself up in your most holy faith, the Bible says. And do that by meditating on God's Word. Have a communion with God. Have a fellowship with God. Talk to your Father in heaven. Jesus told the disciples, pray this way. Our Father, which art in heaven. He's your Father in heaven. He is not just your God. He is not just your Savior. He is your Father, which art in heaven. So keep that in mind to God as your Father in heaven. Remember that always. Okay, that was a good message. That was my husband, you know. He, he is a good preacher, you know. I learned a lot, many things about him, you know, listening. As I told to my kids, there are so many ways to learn. Learn by listening, you know. When we go there to the recital of my children, there's there's nothing to lose. You either you learn or you <laughs> learn or you win. Okay, so we are already here. We're gonna go there to the um, to the pet shop. We're just gonna look something about the nature, the bird. So that's it for today. Oh, ganda ganda naman dito. Wow, parang it will rain again. Hi. Look at that. Look at that clouds. Again, again, again. We're all, we're we're coming there now, hun? Yeah, I think I passed the street. So let's take it.